a good morning. It's Uncle Lou here. Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, I'm sure you're doing just fine. I'm doing great. Uh, and I really appreciate you asking, too. Thanks. Uh, doing tremendous here. <coughs> yeah. Uh, uh, before I get into this here, uh, today's coffee talk is on the, uh, the new channel, the LWO Network channel. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Uh, you can click over and watch today's coffee talk if you want to, uh, or if you choose to, too. Uh, yep. But on to Peyton Manning. Okay, look, Peyton Manning retired. Okay, I get it. Uh, but ESPN does not need to turn into the Peyton Manning channel! Look, uh, can we be re honest and, and realistic about Peyton Manning for a second here? Peyton Manning was an average quarterback. Maybe slightly above average. That's it. That is it. Uh, we'll, we'll start in the NFL. Peyton Manning spent 20 years, almost 20 years, two decades in the NFL beating up on the two worst divisions in football. Uh, of course he has a lot of wins. Uh, he, he spent years beating up on the Texans, the Jaguars, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, what is that? The AFC South is terrible. Uh, so no wonder, no surprise he made the playoffs. The Texans and the Jaguars are, are, are two of the worst teams in the league. Period. And the Tennessee Titans, add them to the list. Look, the AFC South is pitiful and a joke uh, pretty much every single year. Of course, he got a lot of wins. Of course, he racked up a lot of yards. He was beating up on nobodies. But what happened when he got to the playoffs uh, over there? He got humiliated time and time again. Tom Brady absolutely owns Peyton Manning. And I'm no Brady fan. I can't stand the Patriots uh, or Tom Brady, but let's be realistic. Peyton Manning, not Tom Brady. Now, then he, when he can't hack it, when he can't hack it in the AFC South, where does he go? The AFC West, the next worst division in all of football. So he spends a few years in Denver beating up on the Oakland Raiders, the San Diego Chargers, and the Kansas City Chiefs. When's the last time either of those three teams did anything meaningful? Hell, I can't remember. And, and this year, when he finally wins it all for the second time out of 20 years after making the playoffs umpteen times, uh, he wins it all this year. Why? Because he had one of the best defenses in the last 10, 15 years in the NFL. I mean, you got to go back to some of the Baltimore Ravens defenses, the 85 Bears, to, to even come close to comparing this Denver defense with anybody else. Look at his stats in the Super Bowl. There weren't any because he was terrible. Now, let's go back to his college days at Tennessee. Pretty much the same story. Pretty much the same story. Beats up on Vandy in Kentucky for a few years. Puffs his stats up against nobodies. What did he show for it in college? Nothing! He got owned and humiliated by Florida every single year! And I, I hate Florida too, but be real. Peyton Manning in college could not beat the elite teams. And in the NFL, exact same thing. Time after time after time. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning is a regular season cupcake warrior. He builds up his stats against a bunch of nobodies, making everybody think his team's going to be good. Then he gets to the playoffs in the NFL. He gets humiliated time and time again. Enough with Peyton Manning. We get it, ESPN. You like Peyton Manning. We get it. Move on. There's other stories. Cover something else.